Today I'm gonna visit my sister in Katowice and we're gonna see the Duna part 2 because both of us like the movie and both of us like the Duna universe. So, move on. I used to live in Katowice almost two years and it is always warm feeling when I visit this city. If you are going to visit Katowice, you must visit Mariatska street. This is one of the most famous place for nightlife in Katowice. There are not a lot of people in the middle of the day, but at night it will be much more crowded here. Just look at it. Okay, now let's talk about free AI tooling for programming. First tool created by Amazon, it is Amazon Code Whisperer and Amazon Q. Amazon Code Whisperer works uh, almost the same as a GitHub Copilot. This is uh, intelligent code completion, so you can install the plugin to your IDE and start working with code completion. Amazon Code Whisperer supports a lot of programming languages. It is Python, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, C Sharp, Go, Rust, PHP, Ruby, Kotlin, C, C++, Shell Script, SQL, Scala, JSON and YAML. By the way, this is not programming languages. Almost all needed languages supported by Amazon Code Whisperer. And also you can use it almost in all popular IDEs. This is all of IDEs from JetBrains family. Uh, this is also Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. It can be AWS Cloud 9, AWS Lambda console, Jupyter Lab, Amazon Sage Maker Studio, and looks like that's it. One interesting tool that I didn't see in GitHub Copilot and in JetBrains AI, it is AI assistant for command line. So you can just write in natural, natural language something in your terminal inside IDE and Code Whisperer will generate commands for you. But be careful with command line AI assistant because uh, through command line you can make a lot of damage for your project. Amazon Code Whisperer has an integrated tooling for security check of your code and also it can check dependencies uh, which you use from open source projects. Pretty useful things. And if you want uh, totally free analog of GitHub Copilot chat, you need to use Amazon Code Whisperer in pair with Amazon Q service. Amazon Q also totally free for individual use using, and it is just a chat inside your IDs, but without any money. The next one, really powerful tool for programming for free with AI. It is continued dev. And this tool allows you to use your local instances of large language models inside your IDE. And for this purpose, uh, continued dev suggests to use OLAMA toolset. And if you, you are using OpenAI API or Cloud API or Google API, you also can use this API as a provider through continue dev. An important thing from developers of continue dev, they prepared for us some kind of score which open source LLM will be most useful for programming stuff. On the first place, it is of course Code Llama, uh, then Star Coder, then Deep Coder and Wizard Coder. I leave the link to this score also in the description of this video, so don't hesitate to check the links right under this video. So continue dev, like ultimate tooling for use almost all of open source LLMs and all of existing closed source APIs for integrate 
all of these LLMs right inside your ID. You will get uh, an opportunity to work with AI chat right inside your ID. Continue Dev has own extension for Visual Studio Code for the Brains family IDEs. But, but it doesn't allow you to work with code completion, at least for now. Maybe somewhere in the future they will provide such a uh, functionality. Or if you are working with open source projects, you can just go to the GitHub repository of ContinueDev and apply your pull request with such changes. So you're welcome. This is Spodek, and some of you can think that it is a local place with aliens because it looks like UFO, but it is not a UFO. This is hugest concert hall and place for active gaming like hockey and so on. By the way, do you know that UFO it is old one abbreviation? UAP, undefined anomalous, anomalous phenomena, instead of undefined flying objects. Really education content on my channel. Yeah. In Spodek, each year take place the hugest European cyber games. I mean Dota 2 and Counter-Strike, all of this hugest event take place right here. in Katowice, in Spodek. And also in this year, in 2024, Katowice was named as a European Science City. So it is not just usual city. It is pretty interesting city with really not a lot of people here. Approximately 300,000 people. I like Katowice for that fact. I believe that Amazon Code Whisperer and Continue Dev more than enough for productive programming with AI. But I want to tell you a little bit more about other really cool tooling. So let's start. Tool with name Kadeum. Check the link in the description below. This tool also provides you AI assistant chat right inside your ID and totally free. Moreover, this tool provides you also code completion. On the free subscription level, you can use all of this opportunity, but under the hood, uh, this tool working with um, open source LLMs, so it is not so powerful as uh, GPT-4 or Gemini Pro or such LLMs. But if you want to pay, you can pay and use this tool in pair with GPT API. The next one tool has a pretty similar name, Codium AI, and this tool uh, first of all created for unit testing. So you can install this tool and totally free um, made unit tests by AI right inside your ID. Also Codium AI provides some possibility to refactor your code, so it is not about only about unit tests. And uh, what's the, one of the most interesting functionalities that I didn't see in GitHub Copilot chat and in JetBrains AI, Codium AI has a pull request assistant. So with this tool you can make AI-based pull request review. And of course it is almost free for use for individuals, for individual developers, but for the company, for the teams, it will price several bucks. Not much, I believe. Top 9 allows you make code refactoring, code changes, create unit tests, uh, read documentation in pair with AI. So all of the needed stuff, just don't hesitate to download Top 9, install it inside your ID and use it. To be honest, I really don't understand developers who still don't use any AI tooling because this AI tooling can be can make you really much more productive developer than all of your buddies who still doesn't use it. So just make it. It is several clicks. Download, install it and work with it. 
even locally, even with private LLMs. Just use it and you will be really much more productive. I promise you, it works really cool. If you don't understand how you can use AI in your everyday programming work, you must to see my previous video with uh, nine most important use cases for using AI for programming. So just watch it. How you can use ChatGPT for free? The only way to use it for free it is use GPT 3.5 version. And as my developer friends said, GPT 3.5 uh, works pretty well with coding tasks. So just use it. Next, one of the most powerful large language model from Anthropic company, Claude 3. Uh, you can use it for free through their chat or you can use their API. And if you create fresh new account on Cloud API, they provide you $5 for testing this API. You need just to push claim button and link your phone number. And also there are pretty powerful LLM from French startup Mistral AI. You can use Mistral AI through web interface. It works almost uh, in each country in the European Union and also in America and Canada. So just go to the web interface and try to use it. Yep, you can program in quiz LLMs just through web interface. It is not convenient, not so convenient like use it inside IDE, but it is still a way to try most powerful LLMs by yourself for free. And if you don't know, in the internet exists a lot of, let's say, playgrounds or uh, sandboxes where you can try almost all open source LLMs. Sometimes it is hard to deploy open source LLM on your local machine because uh, most powerful open source LLMs like uh, Llama 2 or Code Llama uh, needs a lot of power on your local machine. And there are, exist a lot of playgrounds. So my favorite one, it is playground for from Perplexity. Perplexity, it is new generation uh, search engine that works with AI and they also have labs, their own labs, so lab, labs.perplexity.com. I leave the link in the description below. Just check this site and through this site you can use most powerful Llama LLM, you can use Mixtral 7x8b, you can use uh, Mistral 7 and bunch of different LLMs just for free. Also Hugging Face, Hugging Face it is let's say GitHub uh, like web service but for machine learning engineers and for data scientists and Hugging Face also provides good one playground named Hugging Face Chats. Through Hugging Face Chat you can use Code Llama 70 billion parameters, you can also use Mixtral or Mistral. The next one playground from NVIDIA company, uh, NVIDIA AI Foundation Models, it is the name of this, their playgrounds and there you can use much more open source LLMs, even LLMs for coding. Star Coder such as Code Llama, so if you want to use these LLMs, not locally, but through the web services, just visit NVIDIA AI Foundational Models web interface. And also AWS have their own playground named, uh, named Party Rock. Through Party Rock, you can use cloud, if I right remember version number two, you can use cloud instance and you can use Llama 2 70 billion parameters. And last one in this list, but not least one, it is GroQ. GroQ, um, was created by GroQ company. This company um, uh, making LPU, so large language model processing units, pretty fresh uh, abbreviation in our sphere. And for showing how this LPU productive with LLMs, they provide access to own playground GroQ. And through this playground, you can use Mixtral, you can use Llama 2. You have a lot of different opportunities to use uh, most powerful LLMs right inside your IDE or through the web interfaces. It is not so difficult as you can think about it. So just check the links below and try to use it to be more productive. You're welcome. That's it for theoretical part of this video. And now I need to go to my sister uh, to help her repair some stuff in your flat because I'm older brother. And then we gonna visit theater for looking second part of Zuna. So let's see how it will be.
right now Maya looking for a, a junior QA specialist job position. She uh, was graduated as junior QA. Mm -hmm. She really good student and she also has a practical experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how much months do you have? Uh, yeah, six months of practical experience. So if you or your company need really good junior quality assurance specialist, just please leave the comment below or write right. Write me in Telegram, I'll uh, post the link to my Telegram also in the description and I can link you and Maya and Maya can be your best choice for junior QA position in your company. <laughs> yep. Yep. One of the best movie theater in Katowice. Cinema City, what's the second one name? Uh, Punkt, punkt. 34. 34? 40. 44, yeah, punkt 44. We are too late. Jump, jump, all rush! just finished watching Duna 2 and what I can say this is definitely great movie with huge uh, battles theme with really coolest dialogues with really awesome music and I give it 9 from 10 not 10 from 10 because a lot of my friends say to me that this is the most advanced most beautiful and powerful uh, sci-fi and I definitely can say that Intel Interstellar much more better <laughs> I understand that this is pretty different movies but Interstellar in my heart still I recommend you Duna I recommend you see it particular in IMAX because sound was awesome and you need to hear all of the sounds all of the breathings 9 from 10 Maybe 10 from 10, but Interstellar much more better. No <laughs> Finally, I'm in the train. There was a long day and in three and a half an hour I'll be at home. Uh, I believe that e this video was useful for you. If it is true, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave the comment below this video with suggestion of the next topics. That's it for today. Thank you and see you. Bye.